had any trouble. How about you? It's not about the job. Damn I don't want to hear it. Electrical switches or air vents is considered an escape attempt and will result in severe penalties and a week in solitary confinement. You hear that? Bye-bye. 
24 months to your sentence. Carrying contraband of any kind will add one month to your sentence. Sorry, boys. The block shower room is closed for maintenance. If it was malfunctioning, then it should have started killing everyone. Nope. I'm not thinking about that shit. I can to be a god. I'm not getting invested. You're not at all curious. Nope. It has to make sure nobody messes with the scene. Committing violence against another inmate, correctional officer, or automated security robot will add three months to your sentence.
should be moved to the others. We're outnumbered. Saw something. What happened? You okay?
have 18 months to your sentence. Lost Columbus, they're just looking to scrub another man's back. Benny Machado. Friends call him Big Yacht. You know him? Big Yacht? Jesus. Haven't heard that name for 26 months. 20? Wow. It's been that long, huh? So, do you know him or not? Yeah, I know him. Look, we can skip the cloak and dagger. No harm playing by the book, but this far out, the bosses can't hear us anyway. What are you doing here? I'm with Interpol. Walters, TF-29. There's a potential terror threat. We need you to help us. Whoa, whoa! Back up! You're here to pull me out? For a potential threat? You think I'm working on my fucking tan in here? I'm Dark Opal, remember? Do not contact under any circumstances. This is serious. Our intel suggests that terror threats are possible against pro op groups across the U.S. Multiple threats. It's not acceptable to take the risk by dismissing it as nothing. Listen to the words they have you saying, man. Suggest, maybe. DF-29 knows this terror threat is bullshit. This is something else. I don't fucking like it. If just one of these threats pans out, we're talking thousands of potential lives lost. It's our job to protect them. What I'm doing here is too important. I'm not pulling out for a maybe. Forget it. I wouldn't have come all the way out here if I didn't feel this was important. Hey, I understand. I'm not attacking you. Unlike our clueless bosses back home, I know exactly what you went through just to get here. What's all this got to do with me anyway? I'm organized crime, not terrorism. Interpol knows that. We arrested two suspects on an odd smuggling charge. They let slip about the attack during interrogation, but now they won't talk. We've ID'd them as members of the junkyard gang, Dembrowski and Martin. Jesus, are you kidding me? Dembrowski and Martin? That's like Laurel and Hardy planning the moon landings. No wonder they're not saying anything. They don't know shit. This terror threat of yours, it's nothing but hot air, Walters. All right, so maybe you know someone who can give us a better lead. You've been inside junkyard for two years now, Agent Guerrero. You know these guys better than anybody. Agent Guerrero? <laughs> Come on, man. You sound like one of them talking. We're not like them. Call me Mejia. Fine, Mejia. We need to get you transferred out of here as soon as possible, so you can talk I told to you I can't. Look, Walters. Junkyard is... It's taken years to get them to trust me. If you knew what I... Ho oh, oh, ho oh! ho! Been a while since I boot fucked the door. I haven't lost my touch. Hello, boys. This a private part? This has nothing to do with you, Stinger. You should not mind your own business. Oh, I am. I think our friend here will understand that. Friend? Oscar Mejia, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Ian Wilberg. Cook this beaner. Man, whatever the hell! <laughs> Back off! <laughs> Oaks! So help me God! For once, I just like to try something. 
He's up! Stanger, he's up! About goddamn time. I'm gonna get a look at him. Move. You and me? We need to talk. Get out of here. Make sure no one bothers us. But, but Chief, what about the riot? I sit out, dipshit! Look, Walters. What happened in the shower was a mistake, all right? But it wasn't my fault. If Junkyard would have told me you were coming, none of this would have happened. Junkyard. Then you know why they sent me. Yeah, I know. But I can fix this. God damn it. Didn't I tell you guys something was gonna happen? Mejia runs hot, I said. Too much passion. Sure enough, he went off script and put the entire operation at risk, I swear. I'm the only one in here who knows what he's doing. Good job figuring me out. What say you give me an update on the operation? Soon as I saw you in processing, I knew you were Junkyard MVP. Nice to finally meet someone who appreciates the skill set I bring to this outfit. Just wish you to come to me first. Well, I'm here now. Give me all the details. Is the operation compromised? It's gonna be fine, don't worry. If anything, we can turn Mejia's fuck up into a plus. After we get this goddamn riot under control, we can probably multiply the merchandise by a factor of ten. Hell, they'll all just be lying out there. Where's Mejia now? I got that covered, don't you worry. He's squared away in a solitary on a TVI. Tighter than a sheep's asshole when the shepherd stinks of wine. <laughs> He'll be dead this time tomorrow. Dead tomorrow? That's not acceptable. Junkyard needs Mejia alive. I want to speak with him now. No disrespect, F.A., but you being a VIP and all, I don't think that's a good idea. Since your boy went and killed Wilberg, the prison's gone to complete shit with these filthy-ass Ox tearing up the place. No offense. Isn't the prison designed to stop something like this? What happened? Frederick Flossie happened. Budget Malcolm X type. Educated just past his ABCs. So I guess that about makes him a fucking genius in here. Yeah, we met. The inmates obviously look up to him. Word is he managed to smuggle a biocell to one of his cronies. Stupid clank bastard jammed it up his asshole and went nuts. Got into the biocells in lockup after killing the guards on duty and... Et voila! I don't get it. The choke was supposed to kick in, but it's like it's 2027 all over again. What do you expect? You push a chip inside them, take away what they are. Trust me, that'll piss off any AUG. Yeah, sorry about that. But again, if Junkyard would have told me you were coming... No matter. I got a riot response team on the way that'll be more than happy to push their shit in for them. Boss, cell block is clear. Looks like most of the trouble is towards the admin building. Eh, it'll be fine. They're just fucking AUGs. There's no way they can take the entire prison. Woo! Frederick Flossie coming at you live! You out there, Stenger? Time's up for you and your goon assholes, motherfucker! Christ on a cracker! <sighs> Sorry, Walters. You'll need to stay here. The guards are gonna be shooting inmates on sight, and the last thing we need is you getting drilled. Oaks! Get to admin and do something about that fucking PA! I got something to take care of first. I'll meet you there. So, you let Stenger believe that you were with Junkyard. Why not break cover, now that Guerrero's life is on the line? Stenger was into something dirty. There was no telling what he would do to protect himself. It was better I stayed under and got into solitary on my own. But you still had to make your way through a prison riot to do that. Then it was a good thing I had use of my ox. I was gonna need them.
inspired by thirst I'm inspired by worth I desire your worst So you can just hide while I work I ain't tired you first I'll write a second, third verse About the lies you go disperse You never did shit, I know it hurts Something deep inside won't let